Great, so Dr. Sarah, now that you've had your complete Amplifon assessment, mm. how did you find it? It was amazing. I was astonished at how thorough it was and how easy it was. But I think the, the, the care you took, the time you took, the fact that it was so comprehensive, all the different sounds, and then you know knowing halfway through what I might be looking at, but it was also quite gratifying because it wasn't as bad as I thought <laughs> in terms of the results. Great, glad I could bear some good news for you. Yes. So what did you think your hearing was like before the test? I have to say I did think I was just starting to have some problems and I had planned during the pandemic to have a follow-up test, having had one three years ago. Um, I therefore was a little bit worried and not remotely surprised at what you told me today, but I was really gratified that things do seem a lot better since you took the wax out. I can't <laughs> believe, honestly, that to me is this kind of, you know, the, the biggest treat of the day. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so did any of those results surprise you at all? I'm not at all surprised because I know when I talk to my patients the things they should be expecting with, I like your term, wear and tear, <laughs> wear and tear. <laughs> rather than any other variety. So I was starting to notice those. I don't have a problem when it's quiet. I don't have to turn the television up. My husband doesn't shout at me or you know anything else. So were there any parts of the test that you found particularly useful at all? Uh, well, it was just astonishing how easy it was and how straightforward and how completely uh, discomfort free it was mm -hmm. to get my ears microsuctioned. <laughs> I have been referring patients for microsuctioning for years, but I just had no idea how much difference it made. Mm -hmm. It really does just, I have a feeling I probably should have had it done before and I am feeling just so relieved. I'm not sure how relieved my husband's going to be because my hearing I suspect is a little better than it was. <laughs> you can't get away with so no, much. No talking about you behind your back I'm afraid. But do you do, I mean for me, the idea of being able to just come in, obviously ideally use, if you think there's an issue and you've had it done before, presumably you'd use some um, earwax softening drops. Ideally, yes. To make it a simpler process when you get here. Yeah. But can you just, you know, do many people say how much difference that makes? Absolutely. So uh, having someone come in and we're able to remove wax on the day, mm. um, get that done immediately and then check their hearing and get instant results is, is, is great for people. It's really important for them. I must admit, perhaps the biggest surprise to me was how much you do, because I'd sort of come expecting, you know, obviously I know you do hearing tests and hearing aids, but, you know, the microsuction, all the other, there's so much more that you do. Yeah, absolutely, very proudly so. A very comprehensive test here. Um, obviously, we perform microsuction to clear your ears, make sure they're um, free of wax and we're able to do the test. But then we can do um, hearing tests, speech tests, gives us a great overall view of, of someone's hearing and their candidacy for hearing aids. It's a very bespoke service. Yeah, absolutely. So certainly we use absolutely everything that we do to tailor a solution. Okay, so now doing the test, has it made you aware of anything that you might need to do in the future to protect your ears? As a GP, I wouldn't really be doing my job if I wasn't very conscious of the things I should be doing to protect my ears. So I think the reason that I don't have more problems than I do is probably because I try very hard to practice what I preach. Um, I am very conscious of loud noises. Mm -hmm. I'm very conscious that it's not just individual loud noises, but I need to be thinking about repeated, slightly less loud noises. Mm -hmm. But I might just go back home and, you know, perhaps a little more aware, be a little more aware of when I'm at in a noisy environment and what I should be thinking about. Great. So what would you be saying to anyone considering having their hearing checked? Oh, I'm so worth it. I tell my patients all the time that they need to think about getting their ears checked in exactly the same way as they become more mature, should we say, <laughs> as they get their eyes checked. Mm -hmm. And yet uh, we just don't do it as a nation. And I just really wish we could because I see so many patients who've missed out on so much. And unfortunately, what I also tend to find is that you get to a certain stage and you can't necessarily get that back again. Whereas mm -hmm. if you get hearing loss treated early, yeah then you can actually regain your everything, your quality yes. of life. You don't lose out on anything going forward. Well, thank you ever so much for coming in here to see us today. Oh, it's been a revelation. It <laughs> really has. The number of patients I've you know, recommended over the years, I, I, um, it's, in, it's in the diary for <laughs> this time next year. And 
the great thing about electronic diaries is it's in for every year. In for every year. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. <laughs>